YouTube, YouTube, what's good? Back with another sneaker review. This is another early release. We're gonna be going over the details on the leather, the material, the quality, the box, um, your normal box, nothing new there. But today we have the shattered backboards. The 3.0s is what everyone's calling them. It is the third and hopefully the final because it just seems like they're just going the wrong direction with these. A um, few minor details you'll tell about the bag. It has a Jumpman logo on it. Um, a lot of people hate these. I've seen all the trash on the on, on the internet and all the, the blogs and sneaker groups because of the gloss finish. People talking about it looks like an elephant jizzed all over them. I mean, they're not as bad as in person as I thought they were going to be. Like when I first seen them online, you'll see me all over the blogs. I called this shoe trash. I don't like it just because of the finish. The leather is actually a lot softer than I would expect. Um, different liner. This liner actually reminds me of the Jordan 1, the the New York, the Big Apple colorway. The It's just a different, different liner. It's smooth, it's almost like a silk, uh, super polyester. Um, super, just super smooth. I like it. Um, and if you know me, you know my ones. I don't like the midsole one solid color. That was my biggest complaint about this shoe. If it would have had a black sole on the bottom and the midsole would have been the, the, the off-white, I thought this shoe would have been a lot better. But it does come with double laces. You get the orange lace pack, black lace pack. Um, let's go ahead and get a shot of that label. There is the label on the box. Um... But one thing that we decided that we were going to do with this shoe, um, I just did a little sneak peek on my Instagram. I am going to be matting this out. I know a lot of people are going to be doing it once the shoe releases, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it now, get it over with, be the first one. Um, show how much shoe this look, how much better this shoe is going to look with a matte finish. Um, some might feel the gloss cool, whatever. I'm not into it. I don't dig it. So we're going to go ahead and play around with this shoe today. Um, but here is your first look at your Shattered Backboard 3.0. Oh yeah. <laughs> I got you. Nah, people can watch it later. Well, it stays I on your story. I forget. Okay, I was gonna say it's. I think. Well, I was like acting like I'm recording. All right, now I'm back. This was just gonna be a sneaker re review, but I decided I didn't like this shoe at all because of how glossy it was. I always talk about customs being so ugly because no one uses a matte finisher or semi-gloss finisher they just mm -hmm. use a regular finish on there and they're just way too shiny it looks like they hit them with a crayon but now that i've hit this shoe with the matte finish i actually like it oh, a million times better like a million times better and all i did was hit it with that angelus matte finish and i use it with a heat gun I spray it on the shoe, leave it for about two seconds, and then I slowly start to heat it up with the heat gun to dry it so it gives it that matte, matte finish. I know a lot of people complain about Angelus not being a matte finish because they brush it on or use a foam pad and let it dry. You're not gonna get that matte finish unless you hit it with a heat gun or a blow dryer as you're using it. I recommend a heat gun just because it gets hot, dries it quick, and it gets a super, super matte finish. So, there it is, the very first Shattered Backboard 3.0 with a matte finish, completely different shoe. I love it. I, I love this shoe now. You know, I'm not big. I wish the bottom of the shoe still had a black or an orange um, bottom. Um, but overall, just adding that matte finish changed the shoe completely for me. So I will shoot some photos and post them up. 